Hi. You're on the Alice Reddit Stories channel. Subscribe to my channel as well as my Facebook page. There we can chat. The link is in the description of the video. Thank you. Enjoy watching. Story 1. I, F31, think my boyfriend, M29, might have cheated on me start of our relationship before we were exclusive. I, F31, am in a new relationship with a guy I absolutely adore, M29. I have known him for years and was so happy when we started dating a couple of months ago. Before I asked him out, he was casually dating another girl, Lacey. We had also been casually dating for a while, but one month ago I asked if he would like to commit to a serious relationship with me, him partly based overseas for work, so when I asked him out we established that we would be polyamorous while I was overseas because we both agreed long-distance relationships kind of suck otherwise. I had been intending to sleep with another guy on a friends with benefits basis while I was overseas, which I was completely upfront and honest with my partner about when I asked him out. I asked my partner if he would prefer that I not sleep with this person when I was overseas, and he said he was completely okay with me sleeping with him, thought the deal was we could see other people casually while I was away and if either of us wanted to know details, we'd just ask about it. I told him he could keep seeing Lacey but asked if the next time he saw her that he could tell Lacey that he and I were dating, and they could keep seeing each other casually while I was overseas. I also asked if he could respectfully not sleep with her until I was overseas, as I knew they had feelings for one another and wanted to establish a secure base for our relationship first. He said he was fine with that, and that he'd just see Lacey for lunch to break things off with her, and then stay at a friend's house afterwards for a bit of support and to clear his head. Just last week I found out through a mutual friend that he actually slept with another girl the night he broke things off with Lacey, a girl that I didn't know about at all, Kimmy. I was super upset because I felt it was a major violation of our trust even though we had an agreement that we could continue seeing other people, I fully intended this to be while I was overseas for work, and not a weekend where we could have been spending time together where I was already feeling in a very vulnerable state. When I confronted him about not telling me about the other girl he was initially super defensive and evaded answering my questions honestly, but later apologized and said he wouldn't have seen this other girl if it knew it would hurt me, and just didn't know how to tell me about her existence in his life, to him how he thought it wouldn't hurt me, and he replied because he didn't think I would find out, I told him this was a pretty hefty crossing of my boundaries and wanted to be monogamous with him for a while until we were able to reset and re-establish our boundaries. He was initially super critical about this and turned it around on me, accusing me of changing my mind on polyamory and not considering Lacey's feelings by not having the courage to ask him to just stop seeing Lacey in the first place. I said this was really unfair as I was genuinely okay with him seeing Lacey and other people on a casual basis while we couldn't spend time together but by hiding Kimmy and then sleeping with her while I was fretting about how his soft breakup with Lacey was going was really hurtful to me. I told him I wasn't comfortable being polyamorous with him until we sorted out our boundaries and re-established some trust in our relationship. He eventually agreed that we could be monogamous for the near future. Things have generally been going well over the past few weeks until a week ago where his sister let slip that he also slept with Lacey that day before he asked things to be casual with her. His sister thought I had known this, have felt so awful since hearing this and honestly I have been super insecure about our relationship since then, and it's kind of messed with my self-esteem too, gave him the benefit of the doubt about sleeping with Kimmy on the grounds that he didn't know it would be violating my boundaries since I guess we weren't super explicit about waiting until I was overseas to see other people. But I feel like there's no way he wouldn't have known that him having sex with Lacey that weekend would have been really difficult for me to deal with. The whole ordeal has left me feeling like my partner took advantage of a loophole in our relationship and that I can't really trust him because he doesn't really have my back. Even now that we are monogamous I am left with thoughts about how easy it was for him to do something that would make me feel awful, even if it might not have been technically against the rules. I'm not sure how to handle this now our slash relationship underscore advice, was I cheated on? 
or is my partner in the clear here and I've just been too sensitive to the situation? TLDR, I think my boyfriend did some things that I think pushed the boundaries of infidelity at the start of our relationship. Weeks later it is still making me feel bad and I can't figure out what the resolution is. Don't forget to support my channel by subscribing, thank you. Story 2. I, F32, just discovered my husband, M44, baby trapped me 11 years ago and has a pattern of reproductive coercion. When I say I just this discovered this, I don't mean like today. But two days ago I found his blog slash page on some question and answering site he more or less uses as a personal confessional or diary of sorts. And what I discovered there terrified me, he openly describes how he baby trapped me when we first met. He was an older man, he was estranged from his first wife at the time. I was clueless and desperate, a college dropout with a baby only six months old, living with my parents. He charmed my parents. He charmed my sister and her husband. Held my son and was so caring to us at the time. My whole family was poor and he offered to help out, and he followed through on that. Then I got pregnant. I was just 21 and my first pregnancy had been unplanned and a c-section and I was terrified, but he talked me into keeping the baby, said he'd always help me. Said he'd marry me, that he was the love of my life, he would divorce his wife soon, and he did. He divorced her. He married me. We moved to his country and had three more kids. With his first wife he had three, he adopted my firstborn and three more, his family is rich and he has a good job through their connections, although he doesn't do a lot to be honest but is very good at pretending to be busy. Now in this blog he writes that he selected his first wife because of her intelligence, he never finished university and she went to a prestigious university and he wanted smart children. He poked holes in his condoms and stealthed her, she got pregnant. They had a shotgun marriage. Three kids and two postpartum depressions later, she leaves him. He has her diagnosed with some mental illness and ends up getting custody, with help of his family. After this he selected me because of my looks and me being a lot younger. Rinse, repeat. It turns out I am just an object to him. I never felt fully at ease but I also couldn't explain why I never felt fully at ease. It was just something I felt but I was constantly gaslit even by my own family and friends if I brought it up because of how generous he was and how he charmed them. I second-guessed myself a lot. Gave him the benefit of the doubt. Eventually I just sort of settled into the whole motherhood thing. Decided to give it my all. He even wrote on his blog that he was happy I had a baby already because this time she would not think of me as the one who ruined her life, because another dude already knocked her up first. It's all just so gross, but I can't stop scrolling and reading his thoughts too. There's so, so much of it. He's not the person I thought he was, or not the person he presented himself to be all these years. I'm a 100% sure his ex isn't crazy like he portrayed her, but another gaslit victim. I'm super confused and I don't know what to do. I also don't have a job and am a full-time mother so this is a scary situation to be in. What do I do? I don't even know where to begin with any of this, or who to tell, or whether or not I should even tell him. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel. There are a lot of interesting stories ahead of you.